the Gulf Cooperation Council nations, these rich, oil-rich Gulf nations are all looking to join BRICS. And if you recall, because they're mad at the United States, that doesn't buy Saudi oil. The Saudis are now selling the oil to the Chinese and Chinese money instead of the petrodollar. All of these things are hurting the American economy. Our dollars in trouble, people. And so what does Biden do? He sends the Navy over to shore up Israel when the whole Muslim world and a lot of other nations of the world is saying, hey, look, let's decelerate. There doesn't need to be a massacre of civilians. We agree what Hamas did was terrible, but killing and slaughtering people in Gaza isn't the answer. The people in Gaza, the children and babies, 50% of the people in Gaza are children under the age of 18. They never got out of the barbed wire to stab you and you're going to bomb them too. Well, we already know that close to 800 Palestinian kids have been blown up. We did hear the unsubstantiated story that there were 40 Israeli children with their throats cut. Have we heard about babies killed before? Yes. We remember the babies from the incubator in Kuwait City that the Iraqis were taking the babies and letting them die on the floor. And it turns out it was the ambassador from Kuwait's daughter lying about the babies being killed in the hospital by the Iraqi soldiers that justified the invasion of Iraq, my friends. They're trying to do this all over again. These people are so bloodthirsty that they just you just have to bomb them. They just have to be killed. They're monsters. Where they're demonizing these people, but we never hear about the daily suffering or issues that the Gazans face. People need to understand that the Israeli government determines how many calories people can have per day in Gaza how much electrical power they don't get safe drinking water they do everything to make things miserable for the people and who steps into this biden who's putting the american military in a region where certain countries like syria which is in range to fire missiles to sink u.s ships everybody's telling america Keep your damn paws out of this situation. Hezbollah, and let me just go into some military facts. For at least 45 years, something has existed called the cruise missile. We've had cruise missiles for close to 50 years. One type of cruise missile is called the anti-ship cruise missile, ASCM. ASCMs have been in possession of the Iranians for close to 40 years. The Iranian partners, Syria and Hezbollah, have anti-ship cruise missiles. Anti-ship cruise missiles that have been re-engineered by the Iranians have a range uh, uh, as far as, if not more than 220 kilometers. There is no way in hell that American ships are going to have any major impact, even to scare people. 